Hi, today is June 14th, 2019, and it's a Friday. On May 22nd, we found out that we were pregnant. And three days or three weeks after that, we had our first ultrasound, which was two days ago, June 12th. And um, we found out that we there wasn't any gestational sac. Um, and we put in two embryos. Um, so that was a shocker. <laughs> and then um, yesterday, they gave me my HCG level and it was at 772, which is really, really low for um, how far along I was. I was at between six or seven weeks already and we knew right when we saw we noticed that um that we that there wasn't any sack that it wasn't gonna be good <laughs> so yeah so we confirmed yesterday that we had um a chemical pregnancy um which is a miscarriage before six weeks um, that, that's why, that explains why we didn't see any gestational sac and I can show you my, um, ultrasound from two days ago. Um, you can see this is my uterus and there's nothing at all, it's empty. Um, it, which is really weird because you know, when you think of miscarriage, you think of heavy bleeding and cramping, and I didn't have any of those. Um, the only, um, the only alarming thing was um, three days after I found out that we were pregnant um, on May twenty fifth, which was my dad's um, birthday dinner. Um, I started spotting, but it was really, it was brown, so it didn't really scare me because, you know, I thought it was just implantation bleeding and it was brown, so that means it's old blood. So, um, so that happened on my dad's birthday dinner when I was up in Seattle. And then that's, that only lasted for a day or two. And then again... Um, I'll insert a photo of what my spotting looked like on June 6th. It was heavier than um, the first spotting. Um, and, and that was it. I had like a little cramping and it, it wasn't hurting like a menstrual. Um, when you have cramping, when you have your mens... Uh, menstrual so it didn't really s like scare me or ring an, uh, a, an alert that you know I was going through a miscarriage so after finding out that my HCG level dropped down to 772 yesterday um, they told us to come back next Thursday and that's when they'll do another blood draw to see um, that my hormone, my um, HCG is dropping down and um, another ultrasound just to check my uterus. Uh, but it's been tough, you guys. Um, So um, yesterday I cried for the first time when I was on the phone with Adam because I felt really bad because he kept saying he was sorry. He was sorry that we had to go through the IVF and he, um, and he was blaming himself. And um, yeah, he just kept saying he was sorry and I felt really bad because I didn't want him to feel bad for me. And also I don't want him to blame himself 
for us to um, for himself because I mean not because we're going through this IVF but um yeah yesterday um right when he got home from work um we talked about it and we also went out to get some ice cream because he knows that makes me feel better it makes me feel better when we <laughs> when we get ice cream so did that um we didn't really change our routine we cooked together we watched some um, shows on prime video um prime movie or video um yeah and we told our family and they were very sad and um They gave us our time to like, you know, to absorb it before they actually called us. And then um, my sisters were talking to me about their experiences and they've been very supportive. And they're, um, I also researched some stuff about miscarriages and how to prepare for it naturally since we lost ours like really early on um so today like i bought myself <laughs> i bought myself like one of uh like a pack of extra heavy menstrual pads because i know i'm gonna be bleeding soon and some wipes smashable wipes and a bunch of these um coconut water um, so I can have enough fluid and electrolytes I also have um, Tylenol and emergency contact number uh, just in case um, my bleeding is heavy or if I bleed more than two pads in an hour and I also have ha um, a hat pack just in case I have bad cramping and pain. We have another cycle of IBF, but we won't know for sure um, until our next appointment on Thursday what our plan's going to be because I need my body to reset and it depends on your metabolism, how how, how um, your body gets get rid of um, all the hormone shots. So, um, what else? So right now, I'm just waiting for my body to do its work um, to expel all the pregnancy tissue. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Um, am I, I mean, like, I'm not scared of blood. I work in a medical field. So, I just don't know how I'm going to react once I see that blood and, you know, those, uh, and those tissues. <laughs> so, we'll see. But, yeah, um, I'll do another update once we know more information. Um, yeah, and I bought like a box. It's like a keepsake box so we could put all of our photos and um, stuff um, from this IVF journey. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm kind of sad because I was preparing for a photo shoot this week I, you know because i was hoping for good news but i guess that's, that's gonna have to wait oh yeah um i'll do another update uh, hopefully um by the end of next week once we know more So, 
bye for now